Welcome to another tutorial by EelDev. Today we will look at how to install and configure the EOS Core plugin for Unreal Engine. Let's begin by installing the plugin through the Epic Launcher. This may take some time depending on your system configuration. Open your project, verify that the plugin is installed, and enable it via the Plugins menu. Enable the plugin and restart the project so we can begin configuring it. After the project has restarted, open the Project Settings menu and navigate to the EOS Core section. Create a new configuration by clicking the plus sign. Next, go to the Epic Developer Portal and create a new product. If you don't already have a developer account, refer to the EOS documentation for instructions on how to create one. Creating a new product may take a few moments. Open the new product we just created. Go to the Product Settings menu, then click on the Clients tab to create a new client and client policy. Click on Add New Client, assign it a name, and create a client policy that we can attach to the new client. For the policy type, we'll use Game Client in this example. You may need to adjust this later based on your specific needs. The next step is to create an application, which we'll use to authenticate with Epic accounts and access other Epic features. Click on Create Application, enter a name, and fill in your application's website and policy URL. You must also provide an application logo. Save the changes. This may take a few moments. Go to the Linked Clients tab and select the client we created earlier and save the changes. The next step is to copy all the credentials for our application into our EOS configuration. This includes the product ID, sandbox ID, deployment ID, client ID, and client secret. Now that we've configured the necessary credentials for the plugin to work with our application, we need to close the editor and set up the online subsystem. Visit the plugin's documentation website to view the available settings. Click on Getting Started, then select the Configuring Online Subsystem section. Copy the recommended settings so we can paste them into our default engine in the configuration file. Open your project's default engine any configuration file located in the config folder. You can use Notepad or any other text editor. Remove or comment out any other NetDriver definitions and subsystem configurations that may already exist in the project. Paste the EOS subsystem configuration you copied from the documentation website into the file, then save the configuration. The project is now fully configured to use Epic Online Services and its features with your own application. This concludes the tutorial. In the next one, we'll explore how to authenticate using the EOSCore plugin and begin using Epic Online Services and its features. If you need product support, have questions, or would like to suggest new tutorials, feel free to join our Discord server. The link is in the video description 